Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial we will create a billing application for the electricity consumption based on some requirements. Let's have a look at the question which is right here on our screen. Design a billing application for the electricity consumption based on the following requirement. First requirement is number of units consumed for units between 1 to 100 is assumed as two dollars per unit and from 100 to 200 it's two dollars and there's a problem in the question that's four six and eight okay let's save that and let's see how we can start with the script so let's open up a new notepad so firstly, we will take the input from the user by input box command. So that's enter the value of units consumed. Now, let's first solve the question one by one. Now we will create only a program which meets the first requirement. Then later, once we complete that, we would uh, go for the second and the third requirement. Now, if A is less than 100, then cost equals one hundred multiplied by two. Else, if as we have previously learned about uh, else if statement, the same is used here. Now, what we do here is if a is less than 100 for example the unit consumed was 50 then this particular code will be executed and the same will be displayed to the user so if it was 50 then 50 multiplied uh oh that is 2 multiplied by a that's what we have to write so if it was 50 then it is 50 multiplied by 2 that is one hundred dollars so let's let's get back to the question so we have uh, already written the script for the first and four units between 100 to 200 it's four dollars per unit now if I had given 150 so if a was greater than 100 and a was less than 201 then cost equals anyways if it was 150 then obviously it need to add 100 multiplied by 2 then the, then the remaining that is if it was 50 then it is a minus 100 double bracket multiplied by 4 now let's analyze this line for example if it was 150 150 is 100 plus 50 we know as we know till 100 the unit price is two dollars and once we cross 100 the unit price is four dollars per unit so 100 multiplied by 2 for the first 100 unit and then if it was 150 150 minus 100 is 50 50 multiplied by 4 is 200 so 200 plus 200 is 400 
now let's go for the next or else now you could easily copy this and place it several times this time it should be 200 and here it should be 301 now as we know it is 100 multiplied by 4 add a minus 200 multiplied by 6 and goes on and on just copy it paste it here and, and if it was greater than 300 and less than 401 then this plus 100 multiplied by 6 plus a minus 300 multiplied by 8 so it's as simple as that now else message box you can write the value enter it is valid or something like that now end if now message box the total bill amount is space and close the quotation ampersand cost now let's just save the script and uh, save the script as uh, 21 electricity bill class save now let's try to execute that script here 1 and 57 let's have a look at it okay we have enclosed it here save let's try running the script expected end of statement line 9 character 30 let's go for 9 9 line 9 go to line Nine. Else, if mm. what's wrong here? Character thirty. Mm. Let's have a look at the error statement once again line 9 character 30 so go for a line 9 edit go to line 9 go to line character 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 All right, so here we have two brackets, which is wrong and it must have got duplicated everywhere. So we will remove that and then we would execute it again. So the plus point of writing the script and debugging the script in this way is you would also get an idea how you can debug the script and uh, uh, without freaking out. Now let's enter the value of the unit consumed. Let's first start with 50, which is less than 100. Uh-oh. The bill amount is 100, as you can see here. So now the next time you can go for, which is more than 100, that's 150 maybe. So it is 400. As you know, till 100, it is 100 multiplied by 2 is 200. Plus 50 multiplied by 4 is 200 again. 200 plus 200 is 400. So, so and so it goes like that. So we have, we have uh, in fact, um, solved the first part of our question. Now let's l have a look at the next part of our question. That is, any outstanding amount of previous month amount should be added to the current bill. So let's add another variable here. It's very simple. B equals C int 
input box enter the standing amount of month now let's close it double close and now while we give the cost value um we should end if and after we do the end if let's give some value some variable and now add cost plus whatever we get from here and then we should add the outstanding amount that is stored in the variable b and now we could give the sum value here and click on the save or now we could execute it so we'll use a previous value we have done that's 150 as we know it's 400 and outstanding amount of uh, 100 dollars so that'll be 400 plus 100 is 500 now let's go back to the, uh, the question and let's see the third part of the question a fine of three percent should be added to any outstanding amount if at all if any outstanding due is present as we have previously inputted the value that is uh, uh, 150 and we have added an outstanding amount of 100 if there was a three percent uh, fine 100 three percent of 100 will be three so it will be 103 plus 400 that is 503 now let's give a small tweak to this b multiplied by 1.03 so that this simply is the factor that you have to multiply in order to get the percentage added so that is 3 divided by 100 is uh, 0 0.03 so let me explain you that so that is 1 plus 3 divided by 100 that is uh, 1.03 so I have just used this simple number in order to, in order to uh, add 3 percent now let's save this and get back to the program and let's give 150 as before and 100 as the previous one and let's expect 503 as we expected it's 503 so 400 is the uh, bill amount of this month and uh, 100 was the bill amount of the previous or the outstanding bill amount and 3% was added which 3% of 100 is 3 so 400 plus 100 plus 3 is 503 it's not a difficult math it's really simple and just writing the script without mistakes is a little I cannot say it's complicated if you just practice you will get it uh, really easy so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this tutorial was a little bit big and uh, it's more informative and uh, please subscribe share the videos if you really like it if, if, if you uh, feel it's uh, uh, knowledgeable and I hope uh, we could get soon to the uh, Katia, uh, Katia environment and start using all of these concepts all together uh, to make macros thank you so much for watching and stay tuned